I feel like B-Drum has paid their respects to the classics, you know. They're not trying to reinvent the wheel, but they are continually trying to push themselves. And I feel like the D-Drum kits are beautiful, and they sound great, and for players like me that have played vintage equipment for many years, I feel like it's not that big of a leap. I've been out with 8mm lately. Their music is, you know, rock fused with electronic elements, so I needed a drum kit that was favorable for the more aggressive music, but could also sit in the pocket and line up with the electronic sequences that we have going on. For me to make that leap to a modern drum kit, how good can these things possibly sound, you know? And, um, but I just needed that durability, you know, taking the drums out on the road. When I first played their drums, I mean, they spoke to me. I was looking for drums that had the qualities of the vintage kits that I had played most of my career, but, you know, could handle uh, the rigors of the road. I've never had drums tune up so easily. Alder wood has been around for many years and used on a lot of classic instruments. Uh, the Strat, the, the Tele, and the P-Bass. While I was a little bit skeptical of making the leap to a different wood, I played maple for many years. Uh, when I first heard the reflex drums, they immediately spoke to me. Right out of the box, you know, factory heads. I didn't, I didn't even switch the heads. I was so anxious to play them, and Felix was right. The, the drums are incredible. They were immediately just super comfortable to play, and they sounded great.